welcome to Starter School Crochet. This is Tasha. Thanks for stopping by. And so today's tutorial is going to be on half double or double crochet three together. And what a double crochet three together is, is a basically you're decreasing from three stitches to one stitch. So I've already gone ahead and done a little swatch of what they look like. And what we're going to do to start off I have um, I chained a row of single crochet and also I chained three to bring it up to the level I wanted to get. So I'm going to do the first part of the stitches in these three. So it's going to double crochet three together over these three stitches. So your first step is to yarn over. You insert your hook into the first stitch yarn over and pull up a loop, so you have three on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two, like you'd normally start your first part of the double crochet. But instead of completing the double crochet by pulling over and yarning through, we're going to yarn over again, insert it into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two. So here we have two double crochets, half completed double crochets, so the third step, yarn over one more time, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, pull through two. So you'll have four loops on your hook total, three double crochets that are not completed yet, but here's where we complete them. So you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And there you have your double crochet three together, which is a de you're decreasing by two. So if you were to just do one double crochet, that's no decrease. But you're doing them together, so you're decreasing from three stitches down to one stitch. Let's do it again. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook. Pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. We'll do it one more time. There you go. So there we've created three double crochet, three togethers. And down here, as you can see, this, there's spaces in between mine as opposed to what it looks like out here. Well, I did that so the swatch would be even because I chained two in between each one because if you're going to do a pattern like this, you want the ends to be even. Um, if you want your work to start curling or drawing in, don't put any spaces between there because as you can see, we went from nine stitches down to just three stitches. And down here, the stitch counts would be even. So that's just a little uh, crochet tip and trick for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any comment questions in the comments down below. There'll be a link for this yarn down below as well. I'm using Lion Brand's um, Heartland yarn. All right. Thanks, guys. Happy crocheting.